Hey everyone, welcome to a new Doctor Who with Reviews and More video update. Well, I have created a couple of Doctor Who with Reviews and More video update lately. And well, for a little while ago, uh, in the video, uh, for a little while ago, I was, I was a little angry and I was a little intense. Yeah, you know this in that video. Yeah, well, I talk about uh, the the um, black people and you know, if you watch that episode. Yeah, I was a little intense and a little angry there, but well, but not in this episode. I'm gonna be a little happy uh, and uh, and in a good mood. Um, well, well, first up on my uh, list number one. The first place goes to Tom Baker. Yeah. Well, he he is my favorite classic doctor from the 70s and the beginning of the 80s. Well, because uh, you know that they you know that uh, Tom Baker Tom Baker was the first ever doctor I was introduced to. Yeah. Back in the 80s, when we got the channel called Super Channel, yeah, it was a channel, a TV channel we had back then in the 80s that shows um, TV shows. It uh, had movies and some, sometime it plays a couple of music videos because it was uh, uh, programs on uh, that channel that shows music videos. Yeah, what's good music that was in the 80s, number 20 down to number one, you know, yeah. So, on Super Channel was the first time ever I saw Doctor Who. It was on Saturday and uh, Sunday, yeah. And then I also saw Elizabeth Sladen, the beautiful, adorable Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah, she plays also in Doctor Who, and uh, she was the first companion I ever was introduced to. Yeah, and um, well, and Tom Baker, yeah, Tom Baker is the winner of the classic Who any day. Yeah, but well, but we have more doctors that plays the part. And, well, Tom Baker is my favorite, and we have um, Peter Davison and uh, Sylvester McCoy from the classics, and John Pertwee. What, them, those people are on the first place on the list. The second place we have the new who we have Matt Smith we have David Tennant as the 10th and 11th doctor on the second place of the new who those two places those doctors are like and also are my favorite but don't, don't get me wrong there there are many episodes with uh, Peter Capaldi that's good and there's uh, lots of episodes with Christoph Eccleston and uh, William Hartnell and Colin Baker. Some of the episodes with them are also good. Um. Well, the well, well, the episodes that well, the episodes that I didn't like. Um. Well, I, well, I liked them. I liked them in a way. But it was a little boring when you saw John Pertwee was on Earth every time. And he works with UNIT every time. In, in the couple of uh, first seasons, I think it was um, the first and the second season with John Pertwee. You saw him was stranded on planet Earth all the time. That, well, that was kind of boring. 
after well after a while you see uh, maybe uh, three four episodes and then it got a little boring because there was uh, in on the same planet every time but later, yeah, you know, later on when you when you see that uh, John Pertwee as the third Doctor goes goes to different places with the TARDIS, then it was good to see that the Doctor and Joe, yeah, you know Joe, the companion to the third Doctor, those two went to different spaces and time and space and you know and well fight fights the daleks the fight uh i think to fight the cybermen and some other bad guys and villains but when yeah when you see john pertwee's character the doctor was stranded on earth season one and season two it was kind of boring. You see, oh, nothing hap nothing happened. No. Little bit happens in those episodes, but not much. And you see series one, the first season, he was stranded at Earth by the Time Lords for uh, some reason. And, well, when you watch is a spearhead from space and a couple of other episodes in season one, they were good. The first episode, the first couple of episodes, and then you sort think that next. Oh, next time, what do he want to do? He is stranded on the planet Earth all the time, so it wasn't so exciting that. He was on planet Earth all the time. Well, I I like yeah I like the Doctor when uh, when he travel yeah travel in the, the TARDIS with uh, maybe a companion or two or three. Yeah, and well, they travel to different places. Maybe well, maybe a space station in space. And maybe maybe they go maybe they go back in time or or into the future and fights other kind of things than planet Earth all the time. Um, well, like yeah, like uh, P Peter Capaldi. Yeah, you know Peter Capaldi. It was the tenth series. Yeah, maybe series nine as well. He was stranded at Earth most of the time. And you see that he fights only aliens and creatures on planet Earth. And maybe uh, some episode they went into the future or maybe into the past or on a space station or something. Yeah, but most of the time in series 9 and 10... They were stranded on planet Earth, yeah. And you know that uh, Clara, yeah, Clara was was in love with this um, guy, you know. And uh, well, this this guy was turned into a Cyberman as well, yeah. So, uh, also Doctor Who, for me, anyway, is uh, wh when you see the Doctor travels. Yeah, well, you see the fourth Doctor, uh, Tom Baker. Yeah, he travels in different, uh, uh, in the, into the future, into the past, uh, in space. Yeah, on space stations, on spaceships. And fights uh, villains, creatures, Cybermen, Daleks, and also the Master. Yeah, but but uh, John Pertwee, the first two seasons, he was stranded on Earth. Yeah, most episode on Earth. 
yeah, and well, also Matt Smith, yeah. When well, when you see Clara, you see that uh, they are sometimes at the plant Earth most of the time. Yeah, and then the doctor says, "Oh, let's travel." And those episodes are good when you see the doctor travels. Yeah, and well, you see, well, you see the uh, Will, William Hartnell, the first doctor. He he was on planet Earth at first, and and he saw Susan. Yeah, Susan, his granddaughter, was uh, going to the school. And you know the teacher was curious when when you heard that Susan knew everything that they didn't know that they didn't knew no. So uh, the teacher got curious and um, and uh, the principal I believe you know Ian and Barbara works at the school where Susan goes to. So. Uh, they were curious, so they followed Susan to a junkyard and they found out that she walked straight into this police box. And, well, then they saw an old man comes. <coughs> and uh, they asked him if he saw, saw a girl, a young girl, but he said no. He denies it. And a little bit later, you see that Ian and Barbara goes into the TARDIS and they uh, accidentally um, goes with the doctor and uh, his granddaughter to another time. And other times after that, and you see, see the first doctor travels to different places. That was fun. That, that was fun. The first... The second doctor, they travel, but the third doctor, the end of the second doctor, beginning of the third doctor. You know that the second doctor uh, was punished by the Time Lords after War Games. Yeah, he did something there that the Time Lords didn't like. So he was stranded at on Earth. So, uh, the seasons one and uh, two with Jordan Pertwee, when you see that they are most on planet Earth all the time, it kind of gets boring. Yeah. So, also I like when the Doctor and the Companions travels. Yeah. Um, well, you see the fourth Doctor travels. Yeah, you see also the fifth Doctor travels. You see the sixth Doctor Seven Doctor travels, and on, well, also yeah, also the Nine Doctor, uh, you know, um, um, you know, um, Christopher Eccleston, yeah, he travels, and uh, and David Tennant travels as the Tenth Doctor, Matt Smith, uh, yeah, travels uh, in the first. And uh, the second uh, season, a series, yeah, series. And one Clara, yeah, in in the series um, seven, when Clara comes, you see that uh, they are on Earth first, and then the Doctor decides, oh, let's go somewhere. So they travels, and you know, and. Well, Peter Capaldi, he uh, travels uh, the first series, series eight, but in series nine and ten, there are most episodes on Earth. Some some episodes uh, there in series nine and ten when uh, you see Peter Capaldi travels with his companion. Well, that's good. That's good episodes. That's great episodes. But when they are on planet Earth all the time, yeah, well, you see that uh, in series 10, his companion uh, and uh, some friends are looking for a place to live. So they find this house 
that is uh, haunted. You know, there's something in the house that uh, takes them. And, um, you know, well, you know, the house is alive. And well, also there's an episode when when you see a, when you see the uh, planet Earth or a forest, a huge forest with flowers and trees all around. That's on planet Earth. And well, also you see the episodes when uh, you see Clara worked at this school, and she falls in love with this uh, other teacher that works in the school. Also, plant earth. Well, some, yeah, some episode, yeah, some episode can be good. Well, well, you know, Christoph Eccleston, when he's, but when he started the first episode called The Rose, he was on Earth. Yeah, that's good. One episode. And then they travel to the future on a space station. And, and after that, they travel back in time to uh, Christmas. Yeah, they celebrate Christmas in that time. And he travels. So so there are maybe some episodes on Earth and some episodes in, uh, in the future and in the past. That's good. But, you know, um, John Pertwee and uh, Peter Capaldi, yeah, they have many episodes where they are stranded on the planet Earth. And those episodes get boring. Yeah, because Earth all the time, Earth, 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 Earth. Well, you know, Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. They, they go to a different planet. Yeah, and well, some, sometimes, yeah, sometimes... They, uh, they end up in an alternate universe. And also, yeah, also they go back in time sometimes in uh, those uh, uh, the TV shows the, of Star Trek, the movies and uh, the TV shows. Well, Star Trek V, Star Trek V, Voyage Home, yeah. You see that Captain James T. Kirk and the crew of the Enterprise, they have a Klingon spaceship. Yeah, Klingon spaceship. And they go back in time because they need the sound of the whales because they have to save the future. So they bring a couple of whales and they build a tank, a huge water tank on board. And they transported the whales in there with the water. Yeah. And and well also yeah, also they bring a woman, yeah, a woman from the past. From the eighties. They go back to the eighties. And they bring her back to the future. Because well, because her have something with the whales. Yeah. She has something to do with the whales. And she can work with them and understand them, communicate with them, and you know. So that's good. They well, they're not only on planet Earth all the time. They are on different planets, on alien planets and spaceships and you know, different kind of thing. But uh, Doctor Who, yeah. There well there's many episodes where they are on Earth. Yeah, and John Pertwee is one of the doctors that have most of the episodes on planet Earth and Peter Capaldi. Well, don't get me wrong. Well, Peter Capaldi, yeah, Peter Capaldi is a great doctor. Yeah, I like him. He's a great doctor in his own way. And, well... There's, well, there's uh, some episodes with uh, Peter Capaldi that's good. Yeah, well, you know, the Cyberman. Yeah, Cyberman episodes with Peter Capaldi. Those are good. And the Daleks episode with uh, Peter Capaldi are also good. I like them also. 
Um, John Pertwee has also a couple of episodes that's good. From uh, the first, uh, second, and the third season of John Pertwee. But, yeah, about episodes when they are on Earth all the time. Well, some some of those episodes can be great or good or awesome and enjoy full, yeah. But not all of them because, well, because see the doctor on Earth all the time and uh, he's an alien from another planet called Gallifrey. Um, well, let's talk about the 10, yeah, the 10th Doctor. Yeah, well, I heard that there are some, uh, some fans out there that, that didn't like the first series with, um, the 10th Doctor, because it, well, it was some, a uh, rom romantic, kissy, uh, flirt stuff between the Doctor and and his companion, Rose. Yeah, I, well, I must agree. Yeah, I must agree. There are some uh, rom romantic uh, love, uh, flirt, kissing relationship. But but there's, well, there's some episodes in the, the uh, first series. Yeah, series two of Doctor Who. With uh, David Tennant. The Daleks episode... At the end, when you see Daleks and the Cybermen, yeah, they're, they're, uh, well, the Daleks, yeah, the Daleks are inside this uh, orb, this uh, ball orb kind of thing that's in uh, the air, in the uh, Torchwood. And then you see the Cybermen are, are taking over the Torchwood building. Well, that episode, two parts. That episode is great. One of my favorite episodes of all time. And, well, also, yeah, also in series two, you see that uh, the Doctor and Mickey and Rose comes to this uh, alternate universe where her, Rose's father, yeah, you know, Rose's father is alive. And he and um, her mother and father lives in this huge house, and uh, they, well, they have a dog, yeah, because they don't have a human daughter. They haven't got any daughters, so they have a dog. And and then in uh, that alternate universe, you see the the, the doll. No, you see the Cybermen. Yeah, the Cybermen. That's a great. Awesome, joyful, exciting episode. Yeah, I love that episode. The two parts of that episode in series two. Yeah, and also, yeah, also I like the episode um, uh, when when you see the the girl. Yeah, the girl in the fireplace. You see the doctor talks to this little girl in the fireplace. And, uh, well, a couple of minutes, yeah, a couple of minutes of Doctor's time is a couple of years in uh, the girl's time. So, well, so the Doctor ends up in different timelines with this girl. And, and also you see these aliens, these clock machines look like clocks. Well, they're after this girl. And, and want to use her body parts in this spaceship. Yeah, human's body parts. Yeah. This spaceship where you see the Doctor and Mickey and Rose. Yeah. Are built of body parts. Human's body parts. Yeah. And... That episode is a great episode. It's a little scary mystery episode, but I like it. And also I like the episode um, New Earth. 
yeah i well i heard yeah i heard that many people don't like this episode new earth no but i like it it's a fun episode when you see the doctor uh becomes this um you know that you know that cassandra yeah cassandra is uh the only one of her kind uh well she transport herself first uh, first into rose so rose becomes cassandra and then you see cassandra in the doctor's body so you see the body uh, see the doctor behave like a woman that's fun that's a great episode i like that and well, well, the episode, yeah, the episode in series two that I don't like at all is Love and Monsters. The, well, the, uh, for the first, yeah, the first, you don't see the Doctor or Rose in uh, the entire episode. You you only see them in, in a couple of minutes at the end of the episode. When, when you see the doctor uh, fights this alien. Yeah. And and this, well, this alien, uh, he absorb these uh, people inside his body. So you see their faces in on his body. Yeah. I don't like that episode at all. And also, I don't like that alien creature in that episode. No. I don't like him at all, also. So that episode is a terrible episode. And also the weakest, yeah. The weakest episode in series two is Love and the Monsters. <coughs> yeah, that's the weakest episode. Well, I know that you may be disagree, but uh, in my opinion, that's the weakest episode. And also, there's another weak episode. Um, you see that uh, you well in this episode, you see Rose loses her face because yeah, because there's some some woman yeah, there's a woman inside the TV that suck people's face off. Yeah, and uh, you know the family. The Doctor and Rose get to know in this episode. Uh, well, their grandma, yeah, their grandma uh, has a room in the second floor. And he, uh, no, and she gets her face sucked off. And that's also the second weakest episode of... Um, Series two, yeah, the weakest. So those two episodes I said, Love and the Monsters, and uh, this uh, TV woman that suck uh, humans' face off. Those two are the weakest episode in series two, yeah. And also Christmas Invasion. Well, uh, it's in two parts. One part, the first part, you see the doctor is in bed. Most of the time, all the time. And uh, and in part two, we see the doctor fights the Sycorax and save the earth. Save humans, because uh, the Sycorax, they uh, make the humans, they take control of the humans that have a special blood type. Yeah. So, also I like uh, Christmas Invasion, but, well, I like the second part, when you see the Doctor saves the Earth and the human race and the universe. Yeah, I like that part, when he wakes up and rush to save the people and also the sword fight yeah he has a sword fight with uh, the sycorax the leader of the sycorax and um, 
Then he got his hand cut off. Um, and also he gave the leader of the Sikarax a new chance. And then he walks away, the doctor walks away. But, you know, this leader of the Sikarax tries to kill the doctor. And you see the doctor finds an uh, apple, apple or an orange in the pocket. And he throws that on the button. <coughs> and you see the Sikarax leader falls down. Yeah, to his death. But where is his body? Yeah, we, we didn't see that he hits the ground and dies. No. So where the heck is the Sikorax leader's body? Did, uh, well, did the Sikorax transport the, the leader up in the spaceship again? Without our knowledge? And well, also, yeah, also Matt Smith, yeah. Well, you see uh, the fifth series at the end before the wedding of Amy Pond and Rory. Yeah, you see that the 11th Doctor has a little hunky punky moment at the end of that episode. And uh, then we see the um, wedding with, uh, with Amy Pond and Rory. Yeah. And, and also later on, yeah, later on, we find out that Amy is pregnant. But, you know, but here's the bad news. All, well, all, all of you, yeah, all of you thinks, oh, it's Rory's baby. Yeah, Rory is the father of this baby. No, he, he is not. He's not the father. Because you know that Rory isn't a time lord. And he cannot regenerate. But you know that uh, Melanie. Yeah, Melanie aka River Song. She could regenerate. Because when, when we saw her in the episode called Kill Hitler. Let's kill Hitler. You see that uh, there was this girl this uh, with the black long hair that uh, points a gun at uh, the 11th doctor and threatening him. And then uh, she, get, she got into the TARDIS and uh, comes with the doctor to another time. And there... Yeah, there you see that this girl regenerates into River Song. You know where I'm going with this? Yeah, River Song. Melanie, a.k.a. River Song, is the doctor's daughter. Because at the end of that episode, of uh, well, before the wedding in Series 5, we see that the doctor and uh, Amy had a little romantic, hunky punky things going. But you know that the doctor wouldn't do anything. But you know that Amy Pond wants to do it before her wedding. Because she was free one night before the wedding. And she wants to, you know, have a little moment with the doctor. So, yeah, so Melanie, a.k.a. River Song, is the doctor's daughter. The 11 doctor's daughter. Yeah, if you didn't know. So, what's some people, yeah, people thought that, oh, River Song is, uh, is Rory's daughter. But no, it's not. It's the doctor's daughter. Yeah. Well, if you watch the end, the, well, the, well, the last episode in series five, then you see that Amy Pond had a little moment with the doctor. So, River Song, 
the aka Melanie is the doctor's daughter. Yeah. Um so well the doctor the TV show Doctor Who is a great TV show. There well there's lots of great episodes there. But in the classics and in the new Who. But John Pertwee was stranded in two seasons on the planet Earth. Yeah. Because, you know, that the Time Lords punish him. So, they uh, put him on the planet Earth. And he removed, yeah, they removed uh, a part of the TARDIS that he couldn't go anywhere. He must be on the planet Earth all the time. But later on, later on in uh, the uh, uh, the third to the final season with John Pertwee, you see that he starts to go uh, travel. Yeah, travel in the TARDIS. Yeah. So Peter Capaldi, yeah, he also was stranded on planet Earth most of the time. In series 10 and in uh, series 9. Yeah. So, well, so half, yeah, half of series 10, he travels. And half of series 9, he travels as well. But 50% of series 9 and 10, he was on the on planet earth in uh, those episodes yeah and uh, uh, the uh, 50 that uh, was left he travels with his companion yeah and well there's well there's an episode with uh, peter capaldi when you see the companion and uh, him Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor, was on this uh, planet and uh, on this uh, um, uh, place, this uh, in space station or something on the planet. Uh, and they met this robot, this little robot with a smiley face that smiles at you. And, and when you do something bad, they're angry at you. Yeah. That episode I didn't like. No, I didn't like that episode at all. And well, also, yeah, also there's one episode, also one episode more, and that episode I didn't like with Peter Capaldi was was he was in this uh, castle, yeah, in this castle, and he runs around in that castle and tries to find a way out, and and either way he tries, he died. And then the time starts all over again. That's two parts. And that episode, I didn't like at all. No. But, yeah, but I like most of the episodes with Peter Capaldi. But there's some episodes that I didn't like at all. Well the well the well the episode you see the forest yeah there was a forest or uh, in the entire London or planet earth the planet earth was turned into a forest that episode i didn't like and uh, well also um the house yeah well you see that uh, the companion in series 10 and her friends are looking for a place to to live, and they find this house. No, I don't like that episode either. But you disagree with me, right? Um, Matt Smith, yeah, you know, Matt Smith have some episodes that I don't like. Yeah, well, yeah, I mentioned that in uh, an episode I did earlier. 
with uh, five episodes that I don't like in an early video. Yeah, you can also find that episode on my playlist if you go to my site on um, YouTube and goes to the, my playlist of unboxing videos, uh, memory of videos, collection videos, and you know, opinions videos and that kind of stuff. Um, well, also, yeah, also Tom Baker. There was uh, the, the, one episode in the well, there were one episode in the season uh, that he well he was in this machine and he becomes old. Yeah, they turn him old, and and he has this red coat on, yeah, and a hat, and they turn him into an old man. That episode is the weakest episode in that season. And that episode I don't like. No. You know why? Because, yeah, because Tom Baker don't do lots in this episode. In this episode? No. He don't. He don't do... Yeah, maybe, maybe he do a little bit, but not that much. Like, uh, well, like, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker in um, <clears throat> in episode 8. When you see that Ray comes to this uh, planet and give uh, this uh, lightsaber to Luke. And Luke throws the lightsaber away. And uh, then the episode 7 ends with a cliffhanger. And you must see episode 8. And you see in episode 8, Luke Skywalker don't do a shit. No, he don't do anything. No. So, eight, episode 8 of Star Wars was a little bit disappointing. And also episode 9... When you see Palpatine uh, returns, how how can Palpatine return when he was killed in Episode Six of Star Wars: Return of the Jedi? Yeah, he was killed because Darth Vader took him and raised him like so and thrown him into the into this uh, shoot uh, kind of thing. And you see that uh, Palpatine did this when he was falling down. <sighs> yeah. And then episode 9, boom. They bring him back. No, no explanation. No. Is Well, is it uh, Palpatine's brother? Twin brother? Or is it Palpatine's clone? Or is it uh, Palpatine's son that um, wants to take revenge? Who is this Palpatine character? No, no explanation. And you know that J.J. Abrams wants to uh, cut this uh, Star Wars Episode Nine in two parts. But, you know, Disney, no, we don't want that. We only want one part. So they cut some scenes, boom, put them together. There you have it, episode 9. And that was also disappointed too. Well, I well I saw, yeah, I saw the trailers and and when I saw that uh, you know, C3PO, the gold uh, robot had red eyes and he said the line uh, I, well, I don't remember the line he said, but he said um, a very great line there, a little sad line. Um, I got, uh, um, you know, oh, this episode, episode nine, I got to see. I got to see what happened to C-3PO. 
and I saw it and I was disappointed because well because the scenes yeah the scenes in Star Wars episode 9 didn't connect together now when they cut some scenes between the first and maybe the first and uh, ten uh, scene number 10 they cut scene number 2 and 9 2 through 9 and put uh, scene 1 and 10 together they didn't uh, match and then they put another scene it didn't match so the entire movie 8 and 9 was disappointed it could be better yeah if well if they cut that Star Wars episode 9 till two parts or yeah or they can put the entire scenes inside of it but it was four four and a half hour long so what yeah well you know Titanic is three hours and 50 15 minutes long because they cut half an hour of the movie so well so actually yeah actually the Titanic movie is uh, three hours and 45 minutes long if they put all the scenes together yeah and also yeah you know the Justice League yeah Justice League they put uh, all the scenes together and uh, the movie was four hours and a couple of minutes long yeah so why can't they put every scene in Star Wars episode 9 and make it a whole movie who cares yeah who cares if it's a four and a half hour long who cares yeah well you know the um, um gone yeah you know gone with the wind yeah you know the movie called gone with the wind yeah that movie is uh, maybe four hours long or more yeah but well but you when when you have it on dvd you have to turn yeah turn the dvd because you see part one and then part two yeah so you have to turn the dvd on you know it's a flipper disc so back to uh, Doctor Who. So the winner is the classic from the classics is Tom Baker. Any day. And well, I don't care about people that they say, no, Tom Baker isn't good. He's not the winner. We like uh, maybe John Pertwee or Patrick Fountain. They are the winners. But not on my list, because, you know, Tom Baker was the first ever doctor I was introduced to. And he's one of my favorite doctors of all time. And he's on the top, top of my list. Yeah. And the companions, Elizabeth Sladen, is also on the top of my list. So they are the winners of any day. And then we have then we have uh, David Tennant and Matt Smith and John Pertwee, Peter Davison, uh, Matt Smith and uh, David Tennant and you know, and also some of the companions, but uh, Tom Baker and Elizabeth Sladen is the winner any day on my list anyway. And also rest in peace to you, Elizabeth Sladen. You will be missed. Um, so that's it for Doctor Who reviews and more video update. Yeah. And well, everyone here, yeah, everyone that uh, have seen uh, Matt Smith as the ele as the Eleven Doctor. They thought that Rory was the father of River Song. No, he's not. He's the doctor. Go back. Go back to Matt Smith and watch the series 5. At the end of that episode in series 5. Before the wedding. You see that 
uh, Amy and the doctor has a little hanky panky at the end. But they cut it, so we didn't see the whole thing. But we saw a little bit that uh, Amy flirted with the doctor and she wants to do something before she got married. Yeah. Um, what well, episodes I want to see? I well, I I want to see the fifteen doctor um, comes face to face with River Song. Yeah, I I well, I want to see River Song returns to Doctor Who. Yeah, it's been a long time. Well, well, the last yeah, the last time we saw River Song was in the Christmas special with Peter Capaldi. That's that's a long time, yeah. So well, so I I want River Song to have maybe one or two episodes, maybe in series, may, maybe in the third season, yeah. That could be fun. Maybe a two part two part episode. Um. And well, also yeah, also I want to see, uh, you know um. The doctor's granddaughter, Susan. Yeah, I want to see her as well in uh, maybe the third season of Doctor Who. That, uh, well, you know, yeah, you know that William Hartnell has that um, speech. One day I will be back. And there will be no regrets. And, you know, you know the rest. But, well, but did he come back? Did he come back? No, he didn't. So, so if they do, yeah, do an episode in season three with Gatwa as the 15th Doctor, well, he goes back to that time when he left Susan. And they could have a reunion episode and then Susan can say, oh, who are you? I'm your grandfather. Huh? You're my grandfather? But you're black. Yeah, you know that I have regenerates. Yeah, I have regenerated many times since then. Yeah, I was an old man first. And I regenerates to younger, younger people. And then I was an old man again. And then a female. And then a man again. That's white. But now I'm black. And I'm still your grandfather, Susan. And I promised you, I will be back someday. And this is the day. And how do you, how are you? Uh, do you have any children since uh, last time I saw you? And then you see here Susan say, Oh no, we don't have any children yet. Oh, what uh, that's supposed to mean? Well, I'm pregnant now. And you, grandfather, you're going to be a tip, 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 tip father. And you know, yeah, it could be fun. Or, or maybe, uh, maybe the fifteenth doctor could uh, come face to face with the Ood. Or maybe, um, yeah, maybe Joe. Yeah, you know Joe, the third, third doctor's companion. Yeah, she could uh, come in in uh, ser in the third season. Yeah. Uh, well, well, the last time, yeah, the last time we saw Joe was in Sarah Jane's Adventures. Yeah, that's a long time since we saw Joe. But, well, but couldn't, yeah, and also we saw Joe in, um, in uh, Tales of the Tardis, that's the miniseries that they had released last year. The Tales of the Tardis. That's 
the last time we saw Joe there. Also, and why why couldn't she uh, return into the third season of Doctor Who? That could be fun. Um, Missy, yeah, Missy is is she dead? We don't know because we didn't see her body. No. We well, we saw her almost get killed. Yeah, and a Mrs. Flood. Yeah, Mrs. Flood could be Ronnie, the renegade Time Lord, or she could be Missy, and also she could be um, um, the Master. Yeah, you know, John Sims. Yeah, he could regenerate when uh, he almost died because uh, Missy uh, almost killed him. Yeah, it could be him that uh, degenerates to a woman and he lost his memory and he don't know who she, who he is. Like in Utopia, when you see this old man has this watch and inside this watch there's knowledge of the Time Lords. But, yeah, but people have different theories there. Uh, well, they say that, oh, they, well, oh, they could be the Black Guardian. Or maybe the White Guardian. Maybe. It could be the Guardians. Maybe. So, well, so we have to wait and see what Season 2 or Season 3 is going to tell us about Mrs. Flood. Maybe, yeah, maybe she's a river song that regenerates. Yeah, it could be. You know that river song is actually the doctor's daughter. It could be her. But we have to wait and see till next year when uh, they release season two. Maybe we're going to see who mrs flood is so we have to wait and see and also we have to see who is the winner of the right theory yeah it could be you out there that that have the right yeah because you are uh, told in your videos that you know mrs flood could be that person or that person Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. Who knows? So we have to wait and see. Uh, so, well, so that's it for Dr. Wood Harris and more with the update. And also, if you have seen the entire video to the end, hashtag, who is Mrs. Flood? Yep, you heard me. Hashtag, who is Mrs. Flood? And as the fourth doctor used to say, Oh, you are Miss Flood. Mm, what a beautiful woman. Do you want a jelly baby? <laughs> yeah, so share your knowledge, connection, collection with other Doctor Who fans all over the world. And we, well, I hope that we're going to see each other in another video. Yeah, my friends here want uh, also to see you in uh, another video. Yeah. They love they love to see you in another video. And also subscribe to my channel and uh, put the thumb up. I appreciate that. And well also yeah, also I appreciate when uh, there are lots of people that watch my videos also. So, uh, please subscribe and put the thumb up and like my videos, please. I appreciate that. So, 
that's it bye